Welcome. And so I'm Zay Nifas X9, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So as you can see, the device in front of me is, uh, is locked, and uh, I would either have to draw the pattern from the previous account or well, log in with the account itself. So we're just gonna actually choose to use the verify account and in the field where you need to put the email, just tap on it to get the access to keyboard. And from here, the default keyboard has something like themes. As you can see the second button from the right, tap on it. It will take you to the app that has themes for it. Give it a moment, okay. And from here, tap the three bars in the top left corner and then go into the settings. From here, we're gonna go into prediction, then scroll down and tap on learn from Twitter, and tap on start. And then whatever is here, not really important. What you wanna do is in the text down here, you want to hold, basically select some kind of word and you have three options now, copy, share, select all. Tap on share. And then you have an option to share through a couple different things. And we will hold the Gmail icon. Don't tap it, just hold it. It will give you a different option, like so. And then tap on App Info. We'll take you to settings of it. From here, we want to go into Notifications. Then Additional Settings in the app. From here, tap on the dots up here and then go into help and feedback. And then describe your issue. You want to search for Morse. So let's see, M, M, O, R, there it is. Use Morse code, that's what we want. Tap on it, then you get a video and you want to basically tap on the video and it will start loading it. And once it loads, you can see there is now a clock icon. So basically watch later. You want to tap on it and it will take us to the browser. So let's just tap on browser, open with just once. Yeah, and now we're in the browser. So here just tap on accept and continue and no thanks. And in the search field, no, we wanna go back here. So in a search field, you want to search for or well, go to the hard reset website. So hard reset that info. Like so, go. And then on the website, you want to tap on the bars up here. It'll give you a couple different options and select download. And in the search field, search field for download, search for Android 8. Next, let me just close this. Okay, as you can see, Android 8, tap on search. And there it is, FRP bypass. So you want to download this, tap on download. Then scroll down and once more tap on download. Continue. Allow. Tap on again download. OK. And then open. So from here, before we can install it, we need to enable unknown sources. So tap on settings. Then allow from the source. Go back. Again tap on install and now open it. And from here, we want to go to Google Account Management APK install, and then choose for version 6.0. Again, tap on settings to enable with this source, go back, install, and then tap on done. And from here, choose the other option, which is bypass FRP, then choose browser sign-in, and then tap on that's on the top right corner and then go browser sign in. Okay. And here you want to log in with your desired Google account. So I'm going to use mine.
Okay. Now you can actually pay attention uh, what I'm doing. It's basically the hard reset info one. And later on, when we're gonna restart the device, we will see this account being used as the previous account. And uh, it will let us just pass the setup with this kind of account. So from here, I'm gonna put in the password for this. Give me a moment. And then tap on sign in. Okay, and as you just seen, it logged in and then went back to this site or this app. And from here, all we need to do now is just hold power key, then select reboot, like so, it's more, and wait for the device to reboot. And now we want to go again to the setup. So let's just tap next, skip. Now it doesn't matter what you set it set up right now. And we're gonna perform a hard reset of the device once we're in the home screen. So just I would advise you to skip through it more through it as well. No thanks. Skip anyway. No thanks. Next. No thanks. Next. Continue. No thanks. And as you can see, we're, we had the option to log in and we didn't have to. Now next. Next, next. Cool. No thanks. Again, next. No thanks. Start using your phone. And we're in the home screen. So now I go into the settings. Scroll all the way down into manage general settings then tap on reset and then factory data reset then again factory data reset and erase everything and let the phone actually begin the process and once it's finished we'll be greeted with the android setup screen again but this time you can just set it up as you like and everything that is on the device from the previous account should be completely removed so let's wait for that to finish. Okay, and as you can see, we're basically done. So now you can set up your device as ever you like. Um, once more, gonna basically skip for skip everything. But the first thing you can see that I can skip the Wi-Fi connection, which if the device would be locked, I would not be able to. So skip that. Now I'm skipping it basically for the sole purpose of shortening everything because if I would connect to Wi-Fi, it would start looking for updates and stuff like that, and that would just take unnecessary extra time. And as you can see, we're now in the home screen. So that is how you would bypass the Google verification screen. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.